In this lesson, we are going to create a new contact. There are multiple ways to create a new contact, um, but the first and easiest way is to just go to the plus icon right here, the top um, in the top, and just go to Serum and then Contact right here and click on it. And as you can see, it'll open up a new tab, and in this tab, we can make a new contact. The first thing you want to do is you want to select a company. You can do that by typing in the name or by clicking on the selector icon right here. And through the selector icon, you can just select a company. Um, after that, you can just fill out the first name. Um, so we might want to fill out the first name, the last name, um, if they have a title. Uh, uh, you can fill that out. Uh, you can select if they're a primary contact or not. Um, the primary contact is is used in um, stuff like Ticket Insights um, to, to show you who the primary contact is. Um, you can select a location right here, so it'll be primary address unless they have multiple locations. Um, and at the bottom right here, you can fill in an email address. Um, and you can fill in mobile phone right here at the right hand side. And what you can also do is you can select here um, which notifications they shouldn't get. So for example, if they want, don't want to get um, sales solicitations, you can just um, select this checkbox right here. Or if they don't want to receive surveys, you can uh, select this checkbox right here. So there are a few exclusions you can um, um, automatically select right here. So after you filled in this first step, you can go to the second step, which is additional info. If you want to fill in stuff like their Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. After you've done that, what you can do is you can uh, go to the third tab, the uh, use refined fields. So what the use refined fields is, is um, uh, there are fields you can um, add in for yourself. So one of, for example, one of the limitations of Autotask is you can only select one primary contact per company. Well, in our experience, companies often have multiple contacts um, who are authorized for different things. One way to solve this is to make a user-defined field. And as you can see, we've added a field called um, customer type, which is right here. Um, um, and in customer type, what we've done is we've added stuff like billing, GDPR, primary purchasing, security and technical, stuff like that. And um, we can just select which one they should be. So if it's, for example, a GDPR contact, we can just select it here. Or if it's, for example, billing contact, we can just change it to what it should be. Um, and um, yeah, it, it, it's for us, internally a lot easier to just use these contact types. Um, another user verified field which is quite handy is for mailings. As you can see it's by default um, on all so everyone should um, uh, receive all mailings but for example um, they may want to opt out so we can leave, leave it blank or they may want only to receive GDPR mailings or sales mailings or technical mailings and we can just um, select it here and we can use these fields or these groups to select to whom we should uh, send our mailings. Um, another field we've added is birthday. It's just a, with, through a date selector. So um, if it's someone's birthday, we can just um, send, send a, a, a short message or we can send like a card to them or something like that, um, especially for contacts which are important to the to these clients um, to show that yeah we we are on top of it and we to show that we care. Um, another field is employee ID number. Um, employee ID number is usually a unique uh, identifier, so it's really easy to identify employees through their em employee ID. Um, for example, we've had a client who had um, two two employees who who had like exactly the same name and we could identify them by their employee number which is really handy. 
um, stuff like that. So yeah, you can you can add a lot of fields and just um, you should um, think about it and just add fields which are um, handy for you. After you've um, uh, selected or filled in the user defined fields, you can go to client portal. And which what we would recommend is to just activate client portal for all of your uh, all of the contacts. Um, you can do that by selecting this checkbox right here, activate client portal. You can fill in the username um, which they should should use. Um, so so you can just uh, give them a username or you can just use their email, whatever works for you. And you can choose a security level. Um, the, the standard security levels are basic, advanced and manager. Um, if you're not sure what's included in which security level, you can just hover over the title of the security levels and it'll show you what um, each security level consists of. And um, yeah, you can, uh, you can just select things like formatting right here for date format, time format and number format, stuff like that. After you've filled everything in, you can just click on save and close and uh, the new user, the contact will be added. Um, for the user defined fields, how you can um, set this up is you can go back to Autotask. You can go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner, go to admin and um, it, underneath commonly used, you have user def defined fields right here. So you can click on it. You, you will go to the user defined field setup page. As you can see, there are a lot of user defined fields you can use. Um, right now we, we had it uh, or we were talking about contacts. So we will select the tab contacts. And as you can see, we have a few user defined fields um, available, which were also visible here under, underneath contacts and then the user defined fields tab. So let's go back to the setup. What you can do is you can click on new right here and it'll open a new tab. Um, in the tab, what you can do is you can give a user find field a name. Um, so, so you can just give it a name and this will be the display name underneath the um, uh, user defined fields tab. You can um, uh, give it a description and check a box if it should be required or not. And by underneath field type, you can select what kind of field type it should be. So it can be a text box, but, but it can also be a list or num numerical or a date. As you can see, we've used um, uh, different kinds of boxes. So um, alternate email is just a text box, but um, birthday is a date selector or it's a date, while mailings and contact type are list um, Fields, so you can just use the appropriate type of field um, for for what kind of uh, uh, defined field you want to make, and you can give it a default value. If it, if something is text, the default value will be text. But if you select list, you can just select new, or you can add new. Um, wait, I will show you. I can make a test field. I can add new and I can check a box right here if it should be default or not. So that's um, how user defined fields work for contacts. And um, after you've filled everything in, you can just click on save and close and it'll save the user defined fields. Um, yeah, and you can just, you can just see which fields um, you have and which are active right here on the right hand side. And you can give a short order by, um, uh, or you can give them a short order. As you can see, everything is filled out with one right here. But if we want to sort them differently, we can just give a short order and they will be sorted uh, through the short order right here. Um, well, yeah, and if you're done with all the used find fields, um, uh, yeah, you can just uh, fill them in under all your existing contacts. Or uh, if you want to add a new contact, you can uh, just fill in the tab user defined right here. Um, yeah, um, so so that, so that are the user defined fields. When we go back to Autotask, there are different ways to make a new contract. 
uh, contact you can make them through the uh, contact screen uh, or contact uh, uh, search screen as you can see you can go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner you can go to CRM contacts for the contact search and as you can see you can click on new right here also when you search for a contact um, for example for first name or last name we can just search for a contact and if there isn't or if the contact isn't already in the system we can just click on new right here um, through this button you can also go to the company screen so we have a company right here um, if we have the company screen you can go here to new and you can select um, for example contact right here and uh, the company will be pre-filled in as you can see right here um, and besides the company screen you can also um, make a contract a contact through a new ticket so when we go to a new ticket um, as you can see when you open a new ticket you can um, select a company through the company selector and you can you have to contact right here underneath you can click on the plus sign right here to add a new contact and the same goes for opportunities um, if you if you make an opportunity for a uh, customer you can select the company and you can uh, select the contact and if the contact isn't already in the system you can just click on the plus sign and you will get to the new contact screen.